Our brand new cycle of basic Spacelands is now available for purchase at www.itresolvesmtg.com. What's going on guys? Welcome to another gameplay video. I know this one's probably going to be up a bit later than normal. I apologize I'm recording a little later in the day. Uh, just got a little bit busy, but uh, I do hope you enjoyed the five tips on being a better magic player video. Uh, that's kind of a first for us. We've talked about doing like, you know, top five videos and stuff like that. They're really gimmicky, but I really did think that, you know, the, that, that particular top five list was fairly important. A lot of people uh, need, you know, they want to find ways to get better. I think that those were some really interesting points. So, uh, hopefully you found that helpful. If not, dislike it. I don't know. Do whatever you want to do. But, uh, very excited to be jumping into some gameplay as well today. So, uh, we're going with a fairly standard, uh, pun intended, um, standard deck, uh, in standard, and it's Grixis Control. So, uh, Grixis Control. Well, first of all, we've been playing a lot of control decks this week. We had Sultai, we had Jund, and now we're doing Grixis. Surprisingly, I looked back at our archives over the course of a Coria standard and we had not tried Grixis Control and I was like kind of blown away. I was like, we probably should. This is a very good deck. Uh, and so I thought I'd, uh, I'd go ahead and drop it in here. Um, do have a lot of variations of this list, so do keep that in mind. This is not a hard fast list. I think you can definitely swap some things out. Uh, I chose some of these cards in particular and we'll kind of talk about that as we go through, but I do think that you know, it's a it's a solid one. I think it's always going to be pretty good. Of course, we'll we'll run through and summarize. But uh, to to kind of go through the list here, uh, we've got a lot of ways to get cards out of the hand. First of which is Croxa. Uh, Croxa being a six six uh, that comes in, it escapes obviously, so it hits the graveyard. But uh, the opponent does have to discard a card, and if it's a non land card, uh, it, oh, excuse me, if they didn't discard a non land card, then they lose three life. Uh, and so there's a lot of ways to kind of abuse this in this list. You see, you know, later on we get we got Ashiok here to kind of fill the graveyard. Hopefully, get this in there quicker, uh, so we can go ahead and uh, escape it and get it out as a big six six as well. Uh, this is kind of the finisher, a finisher of the deck, I should say. Uh, so very very good. Uh, we also have two Agonizing Remorse, uh, which I really, really like, uh, mostly because it exiles the card. Uh, it's also a little bit easier to play than a lot of the other, like Thought Erasure here, uh, and even Croxa, because you only really need black mana. Uh, but to do this is really, really nice, because, uh, you know, if they've gotten Uro, Simic Ramp is everywhere. If they've gotten Uro, you just go ahead and exile it, and then you just don't have to worry about it later in the game. Uh, you can kind of set yourself up very, very well. Uh, and so I only have this as a two of, but I do really, really like it. Thought Erasure is also here. And I do favor this in this list a little bit solely because of that surveil. It fills the graveyard. If you are trying to get a Crocs out, Thought Erasure really, really helps fix you uh, on the top of the deck. So very important. But as you can see, a lot of hand destruction, uh, which is very, very good in my opinion right now. Uh, but certainly a bit of an issue if you, you know, stack up too many of these in hand. Uh, as far as removal goes, we have Scorching Dragonfire here as a way to burn out creatures or planeswalkers. Uh, and what's nice, again, is it exiles the, the target if it dies, which I think is really, really important. Gives a great way to deal with Teferis, especially after they bounce something. It's really easy to kind of deal with this. Uh, we also have two Murderous Riders here. Uh, a great way to, again, deal with creatures or planeswalkers. You do lose two life in the process, but that's not really, you know, the worst thing in the world. Uh, and uh, obviously it can come down as a 2-3 later on and be kind of a threat on its own, so I really do like that. Uh, but Devil, uh, as some point-and-shoot removal, again for artifacts as well uh, as creatures and planeswalkers, really, really efficient spell for 3 mana at instant speed. It's a little difficult to cast, but really for this deck it's not too bad, uh, and so very much happy to see that as well. Uh, as far as sweepers go, we've got 2 Cry of the Carnarium, I find that sometimes this just doesn't do it. Sometimes it really does it, which is great, and I think it's important to have, but a lot of times this misses the boat. Uh, if they've got, you know, a 2-3 out, for instance, this doesn't kill it. Uh, but against the mono red list in particular, this is always very, very, more, uh, very, very welcome, I should say. Uh, we also have two Extinction Event, uh, a card that I've been favoring lately, um, just because, again, it exiles, so it just makes it really easy to deal with everything uh, in a very good, efficient way. Uh, you do have to choose odd or evens, but uh, because we've got a good bit of kind of point-and-shoot removal, uh, it's easy to kind of, you know, burn something out on the odd side and then destroy all the, or exile all the even cards, which is, you know, just an example, but uh, definitely a good way to do it. Uh, we also have Atris here. 
uh, as a way to kind of dig through our deck a little bit. It makes it it gives our opponent a very tricky decision. Uh, and I think that that's always a really nice thing to do, to be honest. And uh, it's also just kind of a threat on its own. Uh, as far as Planeswalkers go, we do have Narset Parter of Veils here to help us dig through our deck and shut down draw on the opponent's side, which is very, very crucial. Again, Ashiok here exiles the graveyard on the opponent's side, but also fills our own uh, to help with Croxus, so very, very crucial. Uh, we do have uh, Ashiok Nightmare Muse as well as a bit of a finisher. Uh, this one is very, very good, very, very quick to take over a game, so very happy to see that. And then really the big daddy himself, Nicol Bolas, is kind of the whole... You know the the whole package here uh, not only does he pull the abilities of other planeswalkers but destroys creatures and planeswalkers on his own and uh allows you to draw some cards and exile cards or permanents on the opponent's side so very very good we've got three of those uh and then a bit of a new addition from akoria is shark typhoon definitely an easy one to get out uh it gives you an ability to get a creature down outside of a counter spell with that cycling uh, and if you can just stick this, obviously we've got a lot of things that trigger it, so very, very good there. Uh, as far as lands go, we are at 25. Uh, and really for basic lands, we've got uh, two islands and two mountains, as well as three swamps. We've got two castle Lockthwains here. Uh, we've got the full gambit, of course, of Shocklands, and then just four Fabled Passage. Pretty straightforward. So that's the deck. Uh, and it is, I mean, this is a tried and true one. It's pretty straightforward, uh, and it is very, very powerful. We'll see how our luck pans out with it, uh, because certainly it has its bad matchups, but we'll do the best we can and hopefully get a few wins with it and have a little fun on this Friday. I hope everybody had a really nice week. Uh, I know it was very, very busy for me. Um, it is a bit of an interesting hand, but we do, uh, Get a turn two Thought Erasure here, and then turn three either Ashiok or Murderous Rider. So pretty happy with that. Go ahead and do this here and make sure we get our blue source. There we go. Uh, red also very helpful um, because we do need to get Bedevil down at some point. But obviously a turn through two Thought Erasure is very difficult to turn down. So, <clears throat> Oh, and there we go. Uh, that helps tremendously. Let's go ahead and do this here. All right. Don't like any of these cards, to be brutally honest. Um, but I think it's pretty clear we kind of have to take the Awakener here. We kind of just want to stall them out. Um, do we keep the land? I'm going to say no. That might be that might be incorrect, uh, but I'm going to say no here. We do kind of want to fill the yard as quickly as we can, so I'm, I'm kind of okay with ditching it. Okay. Leaf can Druid's fine. <coughs> uh... Let's do this, and we're just going to go ahead and uh, Ashiok here. Um, we'll target ourselves. And there we go. We do have the Croxa already, uh, and so we're we're two turns away from playing it, thanks to the double red, but uh, we do still have the opportunity, which I'm happy about. So. Ah, tasty. Um, we'll see what they want to do this turn. That's perfectly fine. We can certainly kill that. Um this is something that we do kind of have to kill. Uh, it's pretty crucial that we do, so we'll make sure to do that. Um, Blood Crypt is very nice. Uh, let's just go ahead and do that. Uh, and now that we've got the cards in the graveyard, I'm just going to kind of ditch cards from their deck. That may be incorrect, but I think it actually works out okay. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and jump on this uh, solely because I don't want them to get any value at all from it. Uh, and so that just ensures that that happens. Um, very, very crucial that we kind of one for one a lot of things. Um, sure, that makes sense. That's totally fine. Um, interesting. Scorching Dragonfire is pretty good. Uh, hmm. I kind of think we just Croxa. Let's see, really quick. Uh, do two damage to any target. Elemental creatures. Yeah, let's just do this. One, two, three. We'll just exile all the lands. Uh, so this is going to get a card out of their hands uh, and give us a very, very strong blocker, which I do, I, I do think sets us up fairly well uh, against what they've got. They probably... Oh, they did ditch the Chandra. That's fine with me. Um, we'll see what they want to do here. Um... 
but now we're we've we're in the situation where we've got two pieces of very solid removal to kind of deal with what they've got going on and we've got a way on board to kind of take care of it as well so um that's very good uh but you know if they want to okay fair enough that's fine that's very good because it does exile it, but again, we have we have ways to deal with that. Unfortunately, we can't hit both of these with the uh, extinction event there, um, but we do have plenty of ways to just go ahead and clear the board. Um, and I'm just going to play this murderous rider out. I'm not going to bedevil that. Um, we can just block for days if we need to, uh, and honestly, with extinction event and bedevil in hand, I feel pretty okay about what our uh, our odds are here. So I'm just going to go ahead and attack here. Um, if they want to block, that's great, because we will just Scorching Dragon fire that. We're going to let the damage happen first, uh, and then we'll get rid of it. Um, and that does, again, Exile, which is super, super convenient. And now we pass. Um, this is all about incremental advantage. It takes a while for us to, to really get there, but when we do, perfect. Um, you got it. Um, no, we'll take that. Again, we've got Extinction Event in hand, so we can kind of sit back a little bit and just kind of keep attacking in. We're also mitigating like a good bit of their damage. Um, so we'll just pass, I think. Not tremendously worried. We'll see what they play, obviously, but not really all that worried with all this. Um, hmm. Let's just get this out of there. Um, we can bedevil this, but again, I kind of don't care to. Um, I'd rather just extinction event and hit even so to knock everything down. Yep. Agonizing remorse. Um, hmm. I guess the safe thing to do would be to play this first. Okay. I mean, yeah. We get to exile a card from their graveyard. We'll get this because they do have ways to bring back creatures. Uh, let's hit even. Get rid of all those and we'll attack. Murderous Rider doing the most right now. <laughs> That's not going to help. Um, we do kind of have to be careful because eventually they can just start powering out some stuff. But thankfully, we've gotten them down to one card per turn, essentially. Um, land's not very helpful. We're really looking for a big spell here, and we're just not getting it. But we'll do the best we can. Also, not going to use this until I need to, obviously, so we're just going to pass. Um, this is a, a race that we obviously win if given no changes, and so I'm totally fine with that. Um, and we can use this anytime we need to. So, um, Very possible they think we might just be sandbagging too, which we're not, but we could be. Hmm, pretty good. We'll see if they want to get rid of this. I mean, that's definitely a problem. Gonna kill it. Uh, obviously, that still gets exiled, so now we're just back in the face of we hope we get something big. Well, that's pretty big. Um, and I actually think here we're gonna draw a card. <clears throat> we kind of are in the position where we need to get as much as much in our hand as possible, and we've got so much removal we can deal with the Cloudkin Seer at some point. I think we just need to keep drawing cards here. Um, that's very good. Now they do get to kill Nickel Bolas, which is not good. Um, don't like that. Ugh, that's not good either. Unfortunately, we're just kind of getting not great things. Uh, let's do this. We're going to target ourselves and hit a Croxa, hopefully. No? Ugh. And unfortunately, we just hit a bunch of good cards, but... It is what it is. Uh, I do think that's the right play. I don't think that that's incorrect. We needed to get 
uh, Croxa would have been very helpful. So we definitely needed to get that down. <clears throat> It did auto tap in a very inefficient way, I will say that, but that's okay. Uh, these games are going to be long, by the way, just a heads up. Obviously, this is game one and we're 15 minutes in. Um, so, you know, be expecting that. Um, but that's what you get with a control deck, so it makes sense. <laughs> it's like they're debating on how to attack. <coughs> Excuse me. Um... And they're smart to kill Ashiok here. They definitely need to. So I'm I'm for that. Nope. I'm doing this to thin the deck, by the way. <laughs> We're just getting flooded, unfortunately. Yeah, we don't even have a land. <laughs> we failed to find on a Fable Passage. Wasn't sure if we had pulled them all yet, so. That's very bad. Yep. Uh, Cry of the Carnarium would be amazing. But we're at one. Um, we went from feeling really good to just getting a lot of lands and dying. So, oh, okay. Yeah, they got it. Heartfire, man. Cool. Very cool. All right. Well, well played opponent. Unfortunately, we just got very unlucky with draws. Uh, I don't think we misplayed too hard. Um, maybe we did, and maybe I pulled the trigger too soon on a few things, but... I kind of think we played okay. Uh, I think it was just a matter of we kind of got unlucky with some draws. But that's okay. Let's jump into game two. I do still... Uh, I will say what's nice about the Grixis list in particular is you feel very like high value with every one of your spells when you do get them. Um, that's not always the case with every deck. Uh, we'll keep this. We're going to get a black land. Uh, just a swamp with Fable Passage, I think, on turn... Uh, Maybe not now. Don't think so. Excuse me. Um, Mardu. The bunch of tap lands. Mm. Let's do this. Um, I think we just take that. Uh, no, I'm going to put that down. Um, kind of just take their plays, right? Like, if they they have Fable Passage, so they're not going to be able to play a 3-drop. We get to Thought Erasure again um, and pull, you know, something. It doesn't really matter what. Uh, let's do this. That's fine. Um... Ooh, Brood Moth is quite cool. Uh, do we just take the Brood Moth? Or do we just take, like, a Mayhem Devil? I'm going to take the Mayhem Devil. Mayhem Devil is very annoying, in my opinion. Uh, I do really like Shark Typhoon, but is it really good enough here? Not right now, unfortunately. I don't, I don't think. I, that, again, might be wrong, so feel free to let me know but oh okay that's good um yeah that's pretty solid um hmm do we cry here or do we not is the question or do we just bedevil it Oh, we've got options. We've got options. I think we'll play that out. Uh, you know, no, I don't love that. I really don't love that, but we'll just cry here. Um, the thing that I don't like, oh, they just get to sacrifice it anyway. That was kind of dumb. Um, but I do think we force them to at this point, so that's fine. Um, so they still get to Woe Strider this coming turn. If they get a land, then they get to Broodmoth, which is very good, but probably would have been better to Bedevil. I know it was a one-for-one one on the Cry, um, where we could have gotten a lot more value. Oh, well. Um, yeah, we, we can just do it again. Uh, 
We're gonna get a black source. Yeah. Hmm. That's Croxa. See what they do. Get him to discard a thing. <laughs> okay. And... Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Let's do this. We're not in danger quite yet. And I'm actually going to target them. We've already got Croxa with enough cards in the graveyard, so I don't particularly care. While they let that happen and did not play the... That seemed like a mistake, potentially. Yeah, okay. I was about to say, I feel like that was definitely a mistake, but that's okay. Um, Ashiok, very, very good against this list. For sure. Cruel Celebrant, very good. Um, yeah. Very good. We're going to cry here, for sure. Uh, and I assume they'll just sack in response. There's no reason not to. Uh, we're just kind of draining their resources slowly, uh, which is exactly what we need to do. I'm guessing they just scried a land to the top, because uh, they definitely needed it. I wish that didn't tap the red. That was kind of a problem. Not a problem, but definitely not correct. Um... Hmm. I'm gonna wait. Uh, we could have Ashiok like ac activated Ashiok, but I don't think we needed to. Okay, so they get to Broodmoth here. Oh, they just don't get to search. <laughs> oh, that was really sad. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's helpful. Um. One, two, three, four, five. And again, well, we had to tap it, I guess, now, but. Um, so this gets Broodmoth out of the hands. So they're top decking, uh, which makes it feel a heck of a lot safer. Uh, do we? No, right? We don't. Now they can draw all the land they want. I don't really care. Just only draw land. Perfect. <laughs> Good start. Um, that helps tremendously. All right, uh, let's go ahead and search up a land. We'll get a red source, I think, now. Just to give us a little bit of extra on everything. Um, let's see what they do. My guess is they just block and then sack it. Makes sense, but... I'm kind of just trying to force them to, like, get rid of their stuff, and then we'll Ashiok them and get rid of a bunch. They also scry to the top, which is very, very helpful with Ashiok on the field. Uh, so no damage is done other than the three, obviously, but that's fine. And here, we're going to cash in the Ashiok. Let's see what they actually... Oh, Mayhem Devil to the top. Cool. All right. Um, and mine as well. Activate this. That's not bad. It's very good, in fact, in this matchup. I feel pretty good with this one. Um, we'll see, but... <laughs> sure. Fair enough. I always hate that card. That's such an annoying card. Um, but yeah, they I mean, they got it. And they get to sacrifice it. Oh, so annoying. Oh, hello. Hello, beautiful. Um... Let's do this because there's less interaction that they can have with it. I really do wish we had some life gain. That would be helpful. Sure. 
Um, yeah, I mean, it's about all we can do. We kind of have to be cautious with Croxa now that we know for sure that they've got uh, the claim the firstborns out. Um, but we can kind of get them with maybe Shark Typhoons here. We'll see. Uh, well, I guess the proper thing to do would be to do this. Get them to sack a permanent. Hmm. Kind of get to do both, I guess. So, yeah, let's do this. Shark Typhoon and Croxa. Just hit them for three is all this is going to do. I'm very worried about playing out Croxa. <laughs> if they top deck another claim the first four and we are like done. Um, unless we have an instant speed way to kill it. Uh, so I'm kind of waiting. Uh, that's fine. We get to kill that. But they do get to sacrifice some permanents here. So again, we have to be pretty careful. Um, I mean, we're going to kill this, but they get to do a good bit. Two damage, I guess. Yep. And then they get to sacrifice it again. Ugh. Our Discord in my, like, back... So I've got Discord up here. So one thing I want to mention to everybody, if you have not joined our Discord, you really should. Um, but it's like going ham over here. <laughs> Um, which is great. It's a good problem to have, but it just is slightly distracting. Um, but that's okay. Please don't have claim the first one. Oh my gosh. Seriously? Oh, yeah, you got it. Oh my goodness. We wait. <laughs> that's frustrating. It is what it is. It happens. All right, let's move on to game number three. Hopefully we can get a win with this. I'm a little surprised. Um, but that's okay. And I, I could very easily be playing incorrectly. I think definitely there that was a bit of a sketchy move, but it is what it is. The problem we have is if we just don't do anything, um, they eventually win either way. Uh, so I do think we kind of had to do something, but obviously putting a creature out there at that point may not have been the best plan. Um, nah, we've got removal. Uh, I wish we could play the Thought Scour, but I do kind of think we keep this... Based on the removal, I think it's okay to keep it. It's not great, um, but on turn three, we'll be able to answer any creatures that they may or may not have. It looks like probably another sacrifice deck. That's helpful. Let's go ahead and get this in there. Okay. Um, don't really care about that. I think we just take the, the Cruel Celebrant there. Ooh, that's a good one to have, but I, I'm going to put it in the graveyard. We kind of want to get good stuff going here. Might have been better to have killed uh, the Bastion, but just because we don't have a great way to interact with it, but that's okay. Uh, we get to just pass here. I'm glad we got our blue land, but we do kind of need one more. Go ahead and kill this just to get one of these guys done. I guess it kind of would have been... Nah, that works. <laughs> Bedevils like crazy. Um, let's just play out the Murderous Rider. It gives them a target, but hopefully that's what they spend their mana on. So, like, that's fine. Sure. That's fine. And we pass. Uh, not really liking this at the moment, but that's okay. Go ahead and kill this now. Yep. Cry of the Carnarium would be, like, amazing. Um, whoops. Um, 
sure. Uh, we'll pass. Hopefully this works out. Um, they may try and kill Narset. I kind of don't know if they actually need to worry about it, though. I kind of don't think so. Um, okay. I'm going to intentionally kill that before we do the whole uh, extinction event thing, because then everything triggers ec extra times, and that's just, like, super bad. Um, uh, let's do this. Um, even. Let's do this. Hmm. Uh, I kind of think we take the bedevil. Um, sorry, I'm not talking a lot during this video, but I'm actually really trying to concentrate and do correct things, and I'm not sure that I am. Um, but I do think that uh, bedevil's the right move here. We kind of just need ways to interact with what they play uh, until we can run them out. Um, or we just need big, powerful things, which unfortunately we didn't have. So. Um, this deck is pretty potent, though, uh, running up against two different versions of it. We've played these decks before. Not this exact one, but we've played these before. Let's go ahead and do this. Uh... Hmm. We'll pass. We can bedevil on combat so it doesn't actually get damage in. And then we can cry. Uh, kind of hope they draw some cards here. And then they can play out some creatures. And then we can cry the Carnarium to get rid of it all. Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, they didn't? Okay. Oh, that's fine. You can do that all you want. Um... We, like, kind of have to, right? Oh, they can't draw cards. Sorry. I literally played Narset and was like, yeah, it'd be great if they could do that. Uh, let's do this. Uh, trying to hit a Croxa. Unfortunately, didn't get there, but that's okay. And hopefully, they just don't have much to do here. Um, that's a very annoying game plan that they've got going, though, with these Dawns of Hope. Um, yeah, let's do it again. I'm just going to keep doing it, because if we can get a Croxa, then that's super helpful for us. Nope. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys, we are very unlucky, um, unfortunately. But it is what it is. I don't think we should... I'm debating on drawing a card. I don't know that we should... Ah, screw it. I kind of think we should now. Um, I keep going back and forth because we don't want to lose many, much life, but... <laughs> oh, good. Now they can draw as many cards as they want. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Holy crap, seriously? That is amazing to me. Um, we're going to pass. We'll cycle this away and maybe kill something, but chances are we're pretty much done here. Oh, yeah. That definitely makes it done. All right, we're done. Um, Man, we just got wrecked uh unfortunately um i don't know i kind of expected a little like cleaner wins from this grixis list maybe it's just maybe i'm not playing correctly I, I fully believe that that could very easily be it but um i don't know i i kind of thought that this would have a better chance uh in the current meta but 
that's okay. We will, of course, give it another three games, so hopefully you'll stick around for that. Uh, and then, of course, at the end of that one, we'll kind of summarize our thoughts. Uh, please, of course, make sure to join up in our Discord. Hang out with us. Uh, hang out with all the really great people in there. That's I, I bragged on the community, I believe, yesterday, and I do think it's worth bragging about. We've got a great community, so thank you guys for, for, for the ones that are already there. Uh, and again, if you want to join in, anybody's welcome. So we certainly appreciate it. But uh, hopefully you guys will stick around for video too. But until then, I will see you guys later. Thanks so much for watching.